Hey guys, and welcome back to Shadow of Rose. Let's continue, shall we? Punished? Oh no! Right, let's wait for that git to walk past. Come on you, there we go. Run! 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 There we go. Oof. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now. Let's go grab up that sprig of white sage. Thank you. Get that used up. Ah. Oh. We're going to have to be very faster. Very fast. Oh, great. Got stuck behind the box there. That does happen. Okay. One flash fried. Whew. Sketchy. So we've still got one shot of that left, but we really don't want to use it. Not if we can help it. Okay. Let's wait for that one to move on. Oh, shit. Ow. Okay. That's actually fine. That's actually fine. Was trying to sneak around there, but we got got. Now, as now being super injured, you can see running around and escaping from dolls is not exactly an optimal choice here. Let's wait for our health to come back. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Your own time, game. Thank you. So I don't know if it just restarts us at a checkpoint with all of our health back. Not really sure. But whatever. I think the bedroom is just over there. It is. It's exactly where the bedroom is. We need to kill that thing. Right, you're done. Okay. So close. So close now. But you didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? Oh no. No, no, no. Well, that's for me to know, and for you to hope... F oh, sh shit. I didn't realise that they only went down for a limited amount of time. Who knew? I'm pretty sure the other one we vaporised was dead permanently. Ah, uh, son of a... That explains why I guess they give you so much. Fuck's sake. Yep, we're gonna get her. Although... Although... She's definitely gone this time. So... Hmm. Interesting. We really need to be able to move here. Actually, I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. So that, if memory serves, just leads us back round. I think. But... Yeah, it does. Just literally leads us back round. 
But we obviously don't want to go back round. Definitely could have done that better. That was a little bit sloppy, Joe. Well, I think it's time we weren't here. Time to move. Time to move. You can see though, she really just doesn't run very fast. You would have thought if you had all these gribbly bastards chasing you, you'd get a bit more of a wiggle on, you know? But, ah, oh, shit. There we go. Come on. There we go. Well, I mean, Fro Rose does have some pretty cool friends, to be fair. I finally found you. I mean, she's got Chris Redfield. That's pretty cool. I can't take much more of this. Why are they talking about my dad? I never even met him. No, I don't know. I don't know the first thing about him. I wish I did. All I know is he died protecting me. Sometimes I try to imagine what my life would have been like if he hadn't died. But he taught me to ride a bike, helped me with my homework, read me a story every night. Would he have been there for me, proud of me? Sometimes when I feel lost or afraid, Try to imagine what he might have said to me. Where are we? Feels familiar. Like I've been here before. Hmm. Home decorations. Some kind of party? Looks that way. To do. Decorate the living room. Done. Get wine. Put in the dining room. Yep. <laughs> Rose's other presents in study. Hidden. So, there's a, another uh, achievement. Is it an achievement? Or... I don't know if it's an achievement or if it's a challenge. To... Um, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Hour and a half. Oof. Uh... Yeah, so that's make it back to the study without being hit by the dolls. Right, this one. Listen to all of Ethan's memories in a single playthrough. Okay. So we're going to have to be very thorough here. I'm so lucky to have you both in my life. What's that voice? Is that... Dad? This must be my parents' house from when I was a baby. Yeah, I... I bet other things also have my dad's memories. Yeah, I definitely didn't get that one. Okay, cool. That makes a bit more sense that 
uh, Rose is actually understanding what's going on <laughs> now. Um, if you don't get that one, yeah, she's like, where am I? What's going on? It's like, well, it's pretty fucking obvious, Rose. God, the graphics in this game look so good. She's so little. <laughs> Hard to believe one day she'll be old enough to share a bottle of wine with her old man. Sound out was a wine drinker. Nothing wrong with wine. Yeah, I didn't get all these glowy bit. Wait a minute. That's odd. She bangs her spoon every time I play this. I wonder if she'll be a musician. I wonder if Dad played any instruments. Ah oh, man, now I fancy a bottle of wine. That is a big bottle of wine. Like seriously. Uh, yeah, I'll have one of those, please. Dude, look at the size of these things. They're like. The size of your body. They got to be the what? Three liters. She just cannot get enough of this stuff. <laughs> I bet Dad would feed me as soon as I started crying. Ah, you need to be big and strong to be a mold monster, I suppose. Have you noticed there's a lot of Dad stuff in this, but there's very little talk or mention of Mum, at least so far. Take your time and look around. Look at all the wine they have. They've got loads of wine. <laughs> Rose is such a picky eater. All she ever wants is fruit puree. I guess I've always loved fruit. Oh, to be honest, I could quite happily live off fruit. Fruit and olives and all those yummy things. But, I don't think I could, uh, give up meat. Upstairs? I'll take a look. Yeah, let's take a look. So, I'm pretty confident that's everything down here. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I mean, I guess... I guess we could just drop a save here in case I do miss something. Right, so, what's up this way? Look at this bathroom, man. This is similar to the bathroom we had in the hotel, actually. Um, not exactly the same, but very similar. The, the shower was bigger. It was huge, man. Love to have a bathroom like that. Love to have a shower. Jesus Christ. This tune has always been special for our family. I think I've heard this before. It's pretty. Now this idea of exploring the Rose's home as Rose is really nice. I like this. I really like this bit. <laughs> Ethan, don't forget Rose's half birthday is on the second. I'm going to make an amazing cake so you better eat it in fact I'm gonna make a cake for every special occasion we have I want you to take lots of pictures for our family album I haven't seen mom in ages oh there we go <clears throat> unless she's at some kind of boarding school I guess this is my bedroom yeah, one of these rooms like triggers the end. Um, I can't. I can't remember which one it is. Oh. I I know, she's probably a little too young for this, but it was too cute. I wonder how we played with this. <laughs> do kids? Do you celebrate a kid's sixth month? Half a year birthday? I don't know. Well, this room definitely not quite finished being set up yet, has it? This house is pretty incredible. Like, you'd have to be a millionaire to have something like that. this down in Cornwall. Multi-millionaire to have anything, anything close to this. Hello, chirpy boy. Milo's just walked in the room. Hmm. 
Nothing in there. So that's the crib. Oh, yeah, it's loads. Growing out of these onesies? I can't believe I was ever this tiny. <laughs> I say that. I look at um, when we're driving past and work and stuff and you see the kids coming out of school. I was like, there's no way. No way I ever looked like that. No way. Yeah, I think it ends when you go in there. She's growing so fast. Getting bigger every day. This crib is so little. But then I can't even remember what I looked like with that beard, to be honest. Okay. I wonder if she'll look like me when she grows up. Maybe she oh, will. I looked so happy. Ah, a drawer key, a drawer, a drawer key, I should say. So February 2nd is Rose's half birthday. Half a year in the blink of an eye. I wanted to capture this moment, these feelings. So I wrote something special. I may have gotten a bit sappy though. I'd feel embarrassed if anybody stumbles across it. So it's safe in the sideboard for now. The key is behind my favourite photo. That is a serious industrial laptop as well. That's like one of those military tough books. Right, well, we haven't got th the Achievo pop-up, so... Uh... Not sure if that means we've missed something or it doesn't pop until maybe we actually exit this place. A chance. Because I'm pretty confident that that's everything. Unless I'm being super blind, which is possible. There's no games console, the TV. I mean, come on, sort your fucking life out. Well, to be fair, I don't have one under my TV either uh, in my front room. Because, well, I, I'm never in the front room. So, you know. Yeah, I think that's it. Don't forget to look upstairs. Yep. <clears throat> Okay. Hopefully for Resident Evil 4 they'll actually sort that out, that floating prop thing. Um, so challenge... Oh, we did get it. Right. You've completed the following challenges. Completed... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, cool. I think we've got most of these now. Should get that. Sh I don't know if we're going to get that. That's going to be hard, I think. That is not going to be hard, I don't think. On easy. I don't think that's going to be that hard either. It's going to be a bastard, but it's not going to be too bad. Uh, okay. Okay. me happy half birthday rose my gift to you is a promise i'll always be there for you no matter what i'll be there every birthday to watch you blow out the candles on your cake i'll be there to make you breakfast and walk you to school every day i'll be there when you have a bad dream and sing to you until you fall back asleep. I'll hug you tight when you're troubled or worried and tell you that everything's gonna be all right. You are my precious robes. Never forget that, Dad. No one loves you. Oh, uh, ooh. No. 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 Michael. Michael. Who is that? 
boy, does she look familiar, eh? Huh? Yeah, this was <laughs> this was pretty bloody cool seeing her. isn't here <laughs> so you don't have the purifying crystal <laughs> of course not <laughs> for that you'll have to go deeper much deeper poor rose <gasps> She can't trust anyone. <laughs> Why are you doing this? No one loves you. And when you're dead, no one will care! <laughs> Enough games. Now you'll drown. Well, not if I can help it. First. Uh Ah Does she only want you? What are you talking about? Sorry, Evelyn, but uh Look at you! You are beyond worthless Seriously, what is your problem? Well, that's kind of complicated, Rose. You see, Mummy uh kind of had another well, not child, but another thing before you. Oh god, this is going to get worse before it gets better. Okay. Um. I'm not sure how to stop them from showing up. Uh, I had this problem when I was playing uh, on normal. They just appear and attack you. I, there's no, you've got no defense against them, unless I'm doing something wrong, which is very possible. Unfortunately, there is a lot of this uh, repeated playing. Unfortunately, but I was quite surprised to see Evelyn come back. And uh, Look at you. very you cool. So she was the original bioweapon infused uh, with the mold power. Uh, and of course, Rose is the new souped up, more powerful version, I guess. So I don't know if. Just so. Right, so I guess we can kill these things. Right, okay. Well, that worked. I had no idea you could do that. I'm getting out of here, Evelyn. Hey. Oh, hi, guys. Nice. Let's, uh, let's go, shall we? I'd rather not if it's all the same to you, Evelyn. Thank you very much anyway. Guys, can we hurry this along? Thank you. Whew. Well, at least we don't have to worry about her again. Good, you made it out. Evelyn, that little girl. 
Yeah, it's kind of complicated, Rose. She was like you before you, kind of. But evil and not very nice. Play Resident Evil 7, Rose, it'll all make sense. Usual powers on her. I can help once she's weak. Alright. Well, seems reasonable to drop a save. These should help. Hey! Nice! Don't panic. You've got this. Yes? Uh, I'd love to have the amount of confidence that you have, but, uh, you know. Alright, let's go. You will never, never! Gonna wanna hide. Yeah, she really hurts. I mean, she really hurt on normal. Die. We were supposed to be a family. Yeah, well, you can't always have you what you want. Old Rose. Well, Rose was flesh and blood, whereas you're just a stolen child which yeah that's pretty fucking horrific uh oh that is pretty horrific not gonna lie but if you would never been born it would have been perfect yeah well maybe if you weren't such a complete and utter bitch as well Evelyn let's not forget that you weren't exactly a good child, were you? This is Ow, that hurts. Right, let's... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We got grabbed by the ewes. I was special. Well, you were special when you were the unique and new thing. But sadly, nothing's really unique anymore. So, sorry. No escape. Right, we've got to wait for her to wear herself out. Come on, give us a big blast. There you go. Nope. I think she's still. Hate you. Yeah, I'm. I'm getting that. That opinion that you hate me. Well, you didn't have any friends either. Let's be fair. The only friends you had were the people that you kind of like controlled. Life's really for uh, uh, fair, Evelyn. In fact, life is unfair. Completely unfair. It will fuck you. Repeatedly. Is it though? And I will never let you have what you want. Rose, look out! <sighs> Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. So we didn't actually kill Evelyn.
I actually thought that fight with Evelyn was really cool. That was one of the biggest surprises of this DLC. In fact, that was the biggest surprise of the DLC. And it was a Michael? nice one. Are you there? Rose, look out! He... He saved me. But he didn't make it. That voice. My dad's voice. Is Michael? My dad? Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Because of him, I can keep going. Questions and questions. I have to find that crystal. Yes, we do. But that will Mom have to. But I have to keep going. Wait for the next part. So, good thing about this bit is we have all of our weapons and ammo and all that good stuff back. Uh, <laughs> wait, did I say all of our weapons and ammo and stuff? I mean, we have a, <laughs> a shotgun with. 75% of a magazine and I was just a handgun and we have a uh, empty shotgun gee uh, don't stop me now game because yay right anyway uh, I'm gonna leave it there guys when we come back we're probably gonna finish this um, probably gonna finish this uh, and my cat is on my Xbox Series X oi you little shitbag Almost had me switch off as well. Anyway, uh, yeah, so when we come back, we're probably going to finish this game. So, I really hated the doll's house. I could not stand that bit. I thought it was fucking terrible. Um, that hide-and-seek stuff. The concept of it was good. But it isn't, it's just not what I like. It's. It wasn't for me, as uh, Jimmy would say. Um, but the rest of it, was really cool the whole bit with Evelyn was amazing uh, I loved that fight it was really interesting it's so surprised to see them bring her back but it makes so much sense I loved walking through the old house um, rediscovering all of the memories there's a lot of uh, character development that they're giving Rose uh, here actually if only they gave uh, Ethan <laughs> this much character development maybe he would have been a more interesting and more like character who knows anyway till next time guys